I'm Scott Rysmith, also known as Stretch. And today, in this video, we're going to change the banjo head. Now, this banjo doesn't need a new head, but we're going to go through the motions of doing it. We're going to take it off and put it back on and uh, make sure it's all ready to go when we're done. Um, so, again, trusty drum dial. If you don't have one, get one. They're really neat. This banjo actually sounds good the way it is, and you want to keep it sounding that way. So we can use a drum dial to see where it's at. And I think these uh, 11 inch flat tops should be somewhere between 91 and 92 on the dial. And where is that? Oh, it's looking at 92 right there. So I'm going to check a couple spots. Oh, yeah, there you go. So I'm going to put the new one on. We can make sure it's at that measurement. For deflection and it will sound the way it does now instead of having to guess how to how to do it and break the head or having a bad sound of banjo. So we'll take off the resonator thumb screws here. Uh, of course you got a real tight one there. Loosen the strings here. I'll put a capo right here. The capo is going to hold the strings, and I don't really want to change these strings out yet. <coughs> A lot of times I mark the bottom of the bridge uh, treble and bass, but this one's pretty easy to know because it's actually marked on the front, so that goes towards the front of the towards the headstock there. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we can kind of just wind them up like that, get them out of the way. Take the tail piece off here. Start with a, I'm not holding the tail piece on. Extra long threads. on there so we don't lose it and this one has armrest take that off we don't need to get in there sometimes you can just loosen those and kind of wiggle it out other times you can't Start loosening up the head. These are the tension hook and nuts here, and we'll just kind of start loosening these up to get that off. Kind of go crisscross pattern here, and the base to the treble side.
we gotta do this three times maybe more. Take the tension off. Those two are actually tight. Well, yeah, that, I do them in a crisscross, some kind of across from each other to get an even release, and uh, also we'll do the same when we tension it back up just to keep things uh, tensioned properly as we go along. So we don't have a chance of bending the tension hoop or having one side of the part of the head lower than the other. You want to keep everything even. More important as you're putting it back together. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start talking now. So we're going to loosen these up to where we can, just enough where we can get the hooks off the tension hoop. Like that. Some of them are still have a little tension on them. This looks like a nice tone ring on this instrument. A Kruger tone ring. Bronze wheel. Blocks down here to get the hooks away from the tension hoop. Um, then carefully lift this off. Make sure sometimes you get pinched in here. You don't want to pull off part of the end of the fingerboard. It's kind of easily. It's the end grain. It'll chip. So you know, get like that. You pay attention on the deerings. You always put the logo up uh, towards the, the neck at the end of the neck there. And typically you'll find them down here at the, underneath the tailpiece. So basically like that. Take this out. It looks like a medium crown. Um, and since you got it apart, might as well clean it, get your finger, fingerprints off and smudges and things like that. Beautiful tone on right there. Clean that up. Okay. <clears throat> so on a banjo like this is the flathead, you know, current bluegrass banjo and they're pretty much all 11 inch heads um, and I just we get all my tools here and I'm sure where everything is but we can use this right here so you can measure the outside diameter with the pot and the edge to edge and that is right on 11 inches right there from the very edge to the edge uh, sometimes you got to measure especially on open backs in a couple of different couple of different areas because the the rim is more flexible and can doesn't have the coordinator rods to hold it quite as firm. Um, sometimes the dowel sticks are short and squish the rims kind of egg shaped but uh, so to get the proper size of the head you need and to make to take a couple two or three different dimensions and find the median dimension of those pretty much the size you need. And so you got low, medium and high crown heads. A low crown head, this would be three-eighths of an inch. 
the top there to the top of the, the rim here to the top of the head. And so this one's 7 16 of an inch, and that'll be a medium crown. If it was a high crown, that'd be a half of an inch. Uh, and that just determines how high this rests on the tone ring right there, so how far it goes down. Uh, and to put that on, I have another product which is really nice. It's a drum dial. It's a, a bearing edge conditioner for drums. And what this does, it helps the, the head stretch over the tone ring, get more of an even pressure, and keeps it from getting stuck. So. I suggest taking it and just kind of rubbing it around, but it kind of leaves it's a little messy that way. Just put some on a paper towel like that and just kind of go around it. Wipe it off the inside, it's not going to be doing any good in there. It's only where it's going to make contact on the top and the bearing edge of the tone ring. So. Put that on. Just pretend this is a new head now. Pretty much is. It's a brand new banjo. Put that. Make sure the logo lines up. The end of the neck. And you're going to take your tension hoop. This one has a cutout. Um, which is going to go right where the neck ends. Right there. And you want to center that up evenly at the end of the neck. Get that on, and you can start putting on a few of your tension hoops. So tension hooks here. Just gonna get them finger tight at the moment. Just snug. On the other side here. snugged up here once we got them all on. There's a loose one right there. Uh, you kind of want to get a visual here of the height of the tone ring off the head here. Make sure that it's pretty even all the way across. And, uh, that looks really even, so I think we've got a good start to go here to start tightening. And again, do a crisscross pattern. Just a quarter turn like that.
pipe, get a measurement on that. It's not 90 right now, so go a little bit tighter. Just at this point, we're pretty even. I just make sure we have even tension all the hooks out of the way around. Some are tighter than others, like those are tight. Those are loose, loose, medium, tight, real loose, tight, tight. And adjust them accordingly. Right through here, give it a quick tweak. And then we'll go everything, do them all, just like an eighth of a turn here. Now we get us right where we need to be. Actually, here the head getting tighter. Touching the wrench to the banjo, the vibrations. There's our 92 right there. So, here's this one. That's 92 too. Check all the quadrants. Yep, 92. And 92. So that will put us right where we were. And put the tailpiece back on. Fingerprints off there. Tail piece I noticed was sitting a little high. I mean that kind of gives it more of an open sound, a little warm, more sustain. Uh, it sounded really good. If you're going to be playing fast passages and stuff, you might want to tighten that down and get more of a clear, articulate sound. A little bit brighter sounding, and, uh, less sustained. It helps when you're playing fast. Let's hook these guys back on. It's always easier said than done. Let's see. Trusty pliers, put a little hook in this wire. Actually, 
allow me to grab it. Under there. Pull it up through. Marks. pieces sitting parallel with the top of the bridge this way instead of leaning so Sound of the head also. Okay. This head should be tuned uh, to a G G sharp. Scratch it. That's a little bit sharp here, so that's what we want. A little bit flat, a G sharp, so it's just right in the middle. That's exactly what we're looking for. So I think that turned out pretty nice. Armrest back on. Slide that under there like that. Resonator. I'll put the other ones get them starting. In case any adjustments need to be made. Moving the resonator around.
to a head snub those up. There's your new head on your banjo. Thank you, Scott at LD Smith saying goodbye. If you'd like to like us or share us on Facebook, please go ahead and call us at 517-372-7898 or else uh, repair at LDSmith.com. Bye-bye.